The National Naval Aviation Museum and the Naval Aviation Museum Foundation welcome you to today's autograph session with the U.S. Navy Flight Demonstration Squadron, the world-famous Blue Angels. The Blue Angels' mission is to enhance Navy and Marine Corps recruiting efforts and to represent Naval service to the United States, its elected leadership, and foreign nations. Stationed during the show season at Forrest Sherman Field, on board Naval Air Station Pensacola, the Blue Angels serve as positive role models and goodwill ambassadors for the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps. Blue Angels flight demonstrations exhibit choreographed refinements of skills possessed by all naval aviators. The Blue Angels C-130, affectionately known as Fat Albert, begins each demonstration by exhibiting its maximum performance capabilities during a 10-minute performance. Shortly thereafter, audiences witness the graceful aerobatic maneuvers of the four-jet diamond formation, in concert with the fast-paced, high-performance maneuvers of the two solo pilots. Finally, the team illustrates the pinnacle of precision flying, performing maneuvers locked as a unit in the renowned six-jet delta formation. The history of the Blue Angels begins at the end of World War II, when Chief of Naval Operations, Fleet Admiral Chester W. Nimitz, ordered the formation of a flight demonstration team to keep the public interested in naval aviation. The Blue Angels performed their first flight demonstration less than a year later in June 1946 at their home base, Naval Air Station Jacksonville, Florida. Lieutenant Commander Roy Butch Voris led the team flying the F-6F Hellcat and later the F-8F Bearcat. By the end of the 1940s, the Blue Angels were flying their first jet aircraft. In response to the demands placed on naval aviation in the Korean War, the team reported to the aircraft carrier USS Princeton as the nucleus of Fighter Squadron 191 in 1950. The team reorganized the following year and reported to NAS Corpus Christi. The Blue Angels remained in Corpus Christi until the winter of 1954 when they relocated to their present home base at NAS Pensacola, flying the swept-wing F-9F Cougar. In 1957, the Blues transitioned to the F-11F Tiger, later redesignated the F-11. The Tiger on display in the museum's south wing served with the Blue Angels during its time in service, one of the last F-11s flown by the team in 1969. Among the Blue Angels that flew the F-11 was Lieutenant Robert Rasmussen, who later retired as captain and became director of the museum in 1987. The ensuing decade saw the Blue Angels transition to two more aircraft, the F-4 Phantom II, and, in December 1974, the A-4 Skyhawk. Above you hangs a flight of A-4 Skyhawks in the diamond formation. Three of them served with the Blue Angels, and all four aircraft flew combat missions during the Vietnam War. On November 8, 1986, the Blue Angels completed their 40th anniversary year when they unveiled their present aircraft, the F-A-18 Hornet, which is still serving on the nation's front lines of defense. The 2010 show season brought out more than 10 million spectators, and since 1946, the Blue Angels have performed for more than 473 million fans. The Blue Angels serve as representatives of naval aviation, showcasing the talent, teamwork, and dedication of today's military professionals. The Blue Angels provide the American public with a small snapshot of the pride and heroism of the men and women deployed across the globe in defense of our freedom. A total of 16 officers voluntarily serve with the Blue Angels, along with approximately 100 enlisted sailors and Marines. Once their time with the Blues is over, team members return to the fleet to continue their service. The National Naval Aviation Museum likewise serves as a monument to over a century of naval aviation history and as a reminder of the sacrifices and accomplishments of all the officers, enlisted personnel, and citizens that ensure the continued success of naval aviation. This service is made possible in part through private contributions, the cost of construction of the museum, the recovery and restoration of rare and historic aircraft, the collection and preservation of priceless artifacts and documents, and the museum's array of educational programs are all supported by private donations made to the Naval Aviation Museum Foundation. There are many ways you can support the mission, if you are interested in doing your part to help preserve the history, the legacy, and heritage of naval aviation, please see our Foundation representative in the Blue Angel Atrium for more information. 
Thank you for visiting the National Naval Aviation Museum.